about shooting. A few different things that we're going to go over is your foot placement, the rhythm of your feet in order to get into your shot, um, what part of your feet you need to shoot off of, your knees, your hips, your elbow, your hand placement on the ball, your shoulders, and, and how you want to release the ball. So the first thing we're going to go over is your feet. Now there's a couple different things that have been taught or that have been heard um, in regards to where your feet need to be. You want them about shoulder width apart. You want your shooting foot slightly in front of your other foot. So if you're right-handed, your right foot is slightly in front. You want to be on the balls of your feet. Now in regards to where your feet need to point, it's, it's different for everybody. You need to find what's most comfortable for you. I point my feet about 45 degrees to the left. This way it lines my hip and my shoulder and my elbow up into my shot. Now you want to be on the balls of your feet, so your weight's going to be slightly forward. You don't, never want to shoot the ball flat-footed. Okay, this takes away range and rhythm. So be on the balls of your feet. And when you shoot the ball, you want full extension. So you want to concentrate on getting straight up and down and let the momentum kind of take you forward. So if I were to shoot the ball, I'd be on the balls of my feet. I would jump, and I'm coming about two or three inches. Okay, you're getting full extension in your ankles and then you're gonna land again on your toes. Then when you go to shoot the ball, so when you're catching the ball to shoot it, you're gonna take a one-two step. So again, if I'm right-handed, I'm gonna go left-right as quick as I can, very quickly. Um, as soon as I catch, I'm gonna pop right back up. So if I'm catching the ball, my feet are gonna look like this. Left-right, and then shot. Okay, and if I'm left-handed, it's gonna be the other way. It's gonna be right-left, shot. Okay, they're very small and quick steps. Your knees are slightly bent, okay? So I'm not way down here, but my knees are slightly bent, so I have an explosion, okay? And with your knees slightly bent, it's gonna push your hips back. You don't want them to go down or in front, but you want them to go back. It's kind of like you're sitting in a chair. From your hips, you move on to hand placement of the ball. There's an air pocket or an air hole. You want to split that with your front two fingers. Now your front two fingers are gonna be a large part of your shot release, okay? So you split that, you get a nice big hand on the ball. You don't want your fingers close together, you want them really spread apart. So you, you, you get better control. You get a better feel for your shot, okay? Or just for the ball, period. Um, and again, they are on, when, when you're holding the ball, anytime you're holding the ball, whether it be shooting, dribbling, passing, Anytime you catch the ball, you're doing something with it, you want it on your finger pads. So the ball is not going to be set flat on my palm, okay, but it's going to be up. I should ha be able to slide my fingers inside and create this gap. And then again, with, with the grip, the ball doesn't just sit on your fingers. You're going to try to kind of claw it and grab at it a bit so you have a nice feel, a nice tough or strong grip for the ball. From there, we'll talk about your elbow, okay? And this, your elbow is going to align to the degree of where you get your hand placed on the ball. We'll talk about hand placement of your shot, okay? If your hand isn't in the center of the ball, if it's off to the side, you're going to over adjust and you're going to get your elbow poking out, okay? You want your elbow completely in line, okay? It's going to be in line with your hip, which is going to be in line with your knee, which is going to be in line with your ankle. So we don't want it out, we don't want it in, we want it as straight, or not as straight, but making a U as much as possible, okay? And as you shoot the ball, your elbow's gonna push up, okay? So the motion is up, and your elbow, your arm should go up until your elbow is above your eye, okay? We don't want to push out. When we start pushing out, we get less arc on our shot, Accuracy, again, is going to go down from there, okay? So my elbow goes up, it's above my eye, my forearm and then my wrist are going to push out, okay? So I'm up and I'm snapping forward. So again, my elbow goes up, it's above my eye, snap forward, okay? On the shot release, okay, your wrist, strong wrist is a very key thing to be able to shoot the ball especially when you want to shoot at long distance and have nice range. Your wrist snaps down, okay, out and down. This is going to get, again, is going to let the ball, is going to give the ball the distance, okay, and when you finish your shot, 
the ball is going to release off of these two fingers. Okay, so I'm up, I snap out, and the ball is going to roll, and it's going to leave these two fingers last. It's going to roll off my, off my finger pads, off my fingertips, off those two fingers. In essence, that is the shot release. Okay, and your shoulder is going to align with your hips, which aligns with your knee, which aligns with your feet. And again, going back to the importance of your feet. Your feet are one of the, if not, the most important part of being able to get into a shot and having accurate form, having precision shooting, being able to shoot the ball the same over and over and over again. Um, you, with your shot release, you can tell with your finish what's happening with your shot release. If your hand finishes like this, okay, you either your hand placement is off, your elbow's out, something of that nature. Okay, so your fingers should point down. The ball again releases off of these two fingers. And in essence, that is your shot. Okay, shooting pocket. So this is where you're gonna shoot the ball or, or start your shooting motion with your arm um, when you catch the ball. And you really want to get the ball to your shooting pocket as fast as possible, okay? But your shooting pocket is again, where the ball, where your arm's going to start moving up. So where exactly you're going to start the shooting motion from. And you want it, depending again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to vary from person to person, but you want it somewhere around eye level, um, up off your shoulder. You don't want the ball here. You don't want to start pushing from here. You don't want to start pushing from your chest, okay? You want it up off your shoulder, right around eye level. Um, and again, once you get it to your shooting pocket, and you really want to get it to your shooting pocket as fast as possible, once you get it there, this is when your knees and your elbow are going to go at the same time. They're going to start extending at the same time, and this gives you one shooting motion. Okay, Your body is doing one thing at once. You don't want your knees to go and then your elbow, Okay, but you want your knees and your elbow going at the same time, and this gives you a fluid shooting motion. Now when you catch the ball, it's really important to be able to get your hand placed where it needs to be. So you want, you're not going to be able to find the pinhole every time you catch the ball. That's just going to take too long. So you have to be able to know where your hand's at and where to place it. So when you catch, and you catch the ball maybe on the side with two hands, you want to slide your hand over, okay? Slide your right hand or your shooting hand over, and your left hand's going to be holding the ball. Slide it over. And as you slide it over, then again, you're going to get it up into your shooting pocket, okay? But if you just catch with your hands on the side of the ball and you try to shoot from here, this is where we get elbows out, um, you know, your shot's going to go awry, you're not going to be shooting where you need to be shooting. So again, hand placement being an important aspect of the shot. So catch, slide your hand over to where it needs to be, up on your finger pads, and that's something you need to drill on its own as well. And those are the important parts of shooting that you really want to understand, you want to know about, you want to be aware of what you are doing while you are doing it. And don't just turn something in automatic mode. But again, understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, work on those things, get in a groove, some sort of form shooting aspect of that, and your shot's going to become great. Let's go! How